Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to find the slope of sides on a shape. So, given a shape, in this case a triangle for example, we would have to know either the angles inside of this triangle, or ideally the coordinates for each of the points that make up the triangle. So, for example, if I wanted to find the slope of this side of the triangle, and I were given the coordinates of points A and B. In this case, A would be 1, 1, and B, for example, could be 4, 7. Then I could simply find the slope by using the slope formula. So this triangle in X, this would be 1, and this point here would be 4, and the height would be 1, where AC is, and for point B, I would have 7. So if I wanted to calculate this slope, call it MA sub AB, then I simply calculate the difference in the Y values divided by the difference in the X values. So I have MAB is equal to delta Y divided delta X, which here is 7 minus 1 divided 4 minus 1, which is equal to 6 over 3, or simply 2. So I've calculated this slope to be 2. I could do the same for these sides as well. Here I can tell that this slope is going to be equal to 0 because the Y components of the coordinates for points A and C are identical, so the delta Y would be equal to zero. And if the X coordinate for point C was equal to six, say, then I could calculate MBC, which is this slope, by considering delta Y over delta x, and in this case, delta y would be 7 minus 1, and I would divide that by delta x, which is 4 minus 6, since I chose the ordering to be coordinate b and then coordinate c. So I get 6 divided negative 2, which is equal to negative 3, which is a downward slope. So this is the general method in which one would determine the slopes of sides on a shape, although if you were given information about the angles instead of the coordinates or the lengths, then you could find alternative ways. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to find the slope of sides on a shape.